Hi, my name is Pablo. Hi, my name is Bebe. Hi, my name is Lydia. <laughs> I'm Ben. Hi, I'm Jessica. Hi, I'm Cooper. Hi, I'm you. I'm a designer at Pirodo. Yay! We really wanted to start the brand in order to um, create a new kind of environment and a new way of working um, within fashion. Between the five founders, we've always found ourselves overworked and undervalued and underappreciated in the industry. And we wanted to create an environment where you wanted to be excited to go to work, where you were proud of the things that you were doing and you felt um, valued. As with every other brand, we would love to have our own um, standalone retail store one day. We'd love to be on certain celebrities, but I think overall um, what Peter Doe really is about is about a community. You know, we started as five friends and it's really about keeping that, that energy alive, that genuine kind of connection uh, with each other and with the product that we're creating and thereby our patrons as well. Focusing on the team as a whole is really more about removing um, the, the energy behind one designer and you know, really showing that a whole constellation is brighter than any single star. Um, and that's something that you know, all of us, Peter included, really want to imbue on the industry, that getting to the top is, is because of the support system that you have, or accomplishing things is because of not one single person, but all the people that you have around you. Hi, this is Jessica. Um, Jessica, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, uh, yeah, so I'm the press director for Peter Doe, and I co-founded the company with Peter three years ago, and I handle, well, I used to handle trafficking, <laughs> but now I'm handling mostly like VIPs and celebrities, Yeah. and we also deal with a lot of celebrity personal orders, so, yeah. so like Celine Dion and stuff like that. I actually started out working on the e-commerce side because we actually launched our store with Direct to Consumer, and it was kind of like a capsule collection before we started a full ready-to-wear line. Mm -hmm. So I was working on the site and working with our developer to kind of like get it running, and you know, luckily that was like our really big first push, and we were able to keep it going. And now our e-com has grown to a sizable. Um, demand and people keep asking us for that so we yeah. are working on kind of expanding our full ready-to-wear into e-commerce and making it just like a full-fledged um, D2C site. Jessica, you also handle our special project at Peter Doe as well. Do you want to tell everyone more about, about that? Yeah, so when um, the Black Lives Matter protests started gaining more traction this, earlier this year, we decided to, you know, pull, put our full support be behind that and we started our community initiative here at Peter Doe. So um, every few months we basically hold a fundraiser where we uh, raffle off one of our signature items and people donate a certain amount to be entered into the raffle. So we've been raising um, a great amount of money for all our organizations that are super close to our heart, like mm -hmm. Apicha, which is yeah. a um, health center here in New York, and also Heart of Dinner, which is serving the elderly in Chinatown. It's an ongoing initiative. It's something that's really close to our hearts because all of us have really felt like um, you know, giving back to the community is one of the first things that we want to prioritize now yeah. that we're a brand and we're able to be out there in the world. So this will be ongoing. I think my favorite part about this job is definitely interfacing with VIP clients. I think it's really exciting to just get in my inbox and be able to talk to like Beyonce stylists or like <laughs> Celine Dion stylists and just really see the process from beginning to start of us, you know, placing that order or getting the, right. the pull request in and then it being on Beyonce, on Zendaya, on Celine. Yeah. And just seeing that whole process is really rewarding and really exciting. So. Shout out La Roach and Sydney Lopez. <laughs> Lydia, how did we meet? We met 10 years ago. Uh -huh. in, <laughs> in Pratt Institute uh -huh. and I met Peter um, the third day of orientation actually um, yeah we've been uh, roommates ever since yeah hi guys so this is our sales team oh well hello <laughs> thanks for coming to our side of the room today my name's Vincent I handle I'm the sales director here I handle all of our well sales <laughs> I'm also Peter's business partner yep. so I handle that stuff too Basically on the like a lot of things like on the admin side and the sales side, yeah. our wholesale of DTC. You guys want to tell everyone when did you start um, your job? So oh, I was their first intern. Mm. I started as a design intern and I kind of just hopped around and then yeah. finally found my place in the sales team. And yeah. I do have a sales background, so that helped a lot. Mm. And um, it's been about three years, going yeah. into four years. Yeah. yeah. I mean, remember, we actually really met at that boat party. Yes. Yes, we went at a boat party first. <laughs> and then she became our intern. Yeah. Um, 
So I founded the company with Peter mm -hmm. and a few of our other friends. Um, so it's been a long time. We all kind of came from different backgrounds and had different specialties and mine specifically in sales. So I was in sales at Celine when Peter was there designing. So we were there at the same time and we learned from the same house at the same time. So when we finally decided to start this, it was really a great marriage of um, both the business and the um, design side. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's been, a, it's been a great ride. I'm so happy to have Bebe from fellow party goer to <laughs> my left and right hand. I don't know what I would do without her. Um, yeah, it's a very small team, but you know, it's, uh, it's fun. What is your favorite part about this job? Let some you go. My favorite part about this job is I'm my work wife, Jessica. <laughs> I love everyone in this office. We're all very close, but Jessica is my bed buddy when we travel to Paris <laughs> for a showroom. So, you know, she's a... Uh, Close to my heart. Wait, what's your favorite part of the shop that's non-person related? <laughs> um, like an actual activity, oh. you know? <laughs> I don't know, I feel like just getting to know a lot of the people and our partners as well and, yeah. you know, making sure everything gets on, done on time and it's nice to see how each region has their own different styles so we're able to kind of connect with them yeah. on that level and um, as far as like e-com I think it's really nice because I become more and more attached to the clients that we have yeah. and we do have like few clients that come back to us each season after season yeah. so that personal relationship is building as well too so yeah that's that's pretty fun to me that's really I good. Agree. Hi, my name is Pablo. I'm the head of production at Peter Doe. Hi, and I'm Cooper, uh, assistant production manager here too. And this is the production team. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is it. Tell, tell everyone about your day-to-day -day job that you have to do as a production right. manager at Peter Doe. So it consists of a lot of logistics and sort of making sure that the factories have all the materials necessary to be able to produce a collection. Uh, you know, we go we translate from design into production. The, whatever the view of the design team is, we need to keep the design integrity and make sure that whatever is on the sales floor is uh, the design team's uh, vision. So that's one of the main parts of what we do. And making sure all of it is as beautiful and perfect <laughs> as, the, as the designer wants. How did you guys start it at Peter Dale? Like, when was that? Well, I've been here officially a little over a year. Yeah. At after having graduated last year, you've been here. So I, I basically started at Peter Doe when the brand was pretty much launched. Um, I started as an intern. Um, design intern. That's a yeah. design intern, <laughs> but intern in general. And then I just slowly grew into my role, you know, helping Lydia and helping Peter sort of um, produce the collection. Our first collection was a little bit, it was really scary. Um, mm -hmm because we didn't know really what, not that we didn't know what we were doing, but it was just the first time that we were the ones controlling it. Mm -hmm. So um, it was a little scary, but here we are, um, five seasons later. Oh and how many seasons do we have in store, Vincent? Four. We have four seasons in stores and they all are beautiful and produced by all of us. <laughs> Most importantly, um, how much do you love working here? How much um, do you love this job? How much do we love this job? Yeah, how much I do you mean, love this job? Obviously, we have to love this job because <laughs> it's grueling, you know, it takes a lot of effort and work and time. Yeah, production has a lot of stakes to it. Yeah, so, and I think that as a startup, you know, we, if we didn't love it, we wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, one of the, the things that I really love is that we are all a family, so we all really share, share a lot of experiences together, we eat lunch together, mm -hmm. we you know, outside of work, we also hang out with each other. So we're, we're really mm -hmm. a family. So I think that, that that is the aspect that I love the most working here. 